Welcome students. Today we will see the block diagram of this DC power supply. Why do we need the study of this DC power supply? DC power supply is a very essential component in this electronic circuit working. You take the example of any electronic equipment, say the medical equipments, say the technology equipments, engineering equipments, say the machineries, machine controls, any advanced automation of the control, microcontrollers, microprocessors, even your smart gadgets, even the household equipments, all will be working with these electronic circuit boards. These electronic components and ICs definitely needs a stable constant voltage source that is the DC voltage source. But conventionally in our household wiring we get in the domestic lines we get the conventional single phase 230 volts 50 hertz AC supply. All these equipments will be sourced from this conventional single phase 230 volts AC supply only which is available on the grid and even at every domestic lines. Now this has to be converted into a suitable level of the constant DC voltage and current as per the requirement of the load that it is supplied to. So in order to get the required level of the DC voltages and currents which is extracted from the conventional single phase AC 230 volts 50 hertz supply we need a power supply that we call as a DC power supply. In the block diagram we can see at first the transformer the main function of this transformer is to reduce the single phase 230 volts 50 hertz voltage level magnitude into the required lower level magnitude. There will be no change in the frequency but the magnitude you can see in the picture in representation also the peak to peak value here this we call as the peak to peak as you have been uh, taught in your previous semesters. This is the peak to peak value of the magnitude of the voltage wherein this peak to peak value is reduced here but the frequency is maintained same. The function of this input stage that is a transformer block is to reduce the AC voltage level to the required level of the voltages here. Now this reduced voltage single phase AC voltage is input to the next block which we call as a rectifier. The function of this rectifier is to convert the conventional AC supply, AC voltages into the DC voltages. The DC voltage that we get is not the pure one, it would be the pulsating DC means it is unidirectional definitely but it is not a constant DC. That is why we say that as you can see here, it would be not the constant but it is having continuous variations. But the magnitude is varying only in one polarity that is having only the positive value. As in the previous case, it is having the positive value here, it is having the negative value here in the previous case. But in the rectified output we get only the single polarity magnitude that is DC. That is why we call it as a pulsating DC. Now, this is not our required level of the output from this DC power supply. We need a constant voltage level. Now, this is a mixture of the DC characteristics as well the pulsations, means the AC characteristics. These AC characteristics are to be filtered off, they are to be removed from this output so that we get the required level of the DC voltage and current at output. Now, to take off the unwanted AC characteristics from this rectified output, we go through the filtration process. And the next block after this rectifier is the filter. 
filter is the circuit which removes the unnecessary undesirable ac quantities from this rectified pulsating output so that the output would be almost a pure dc but still it is not a pure dc it is having still the pulsations variations but you can observe that these ripples or the variations are reduced here this is of only the smaller magnitude here the ripples were of this size where the ripples are reduced here the main function of this filter is to reduce the ripples or if at all it is possible it has to remove all these ripples altogether now we cannot expect the complete removal of the ripples from this simple filter circuit but still it will be having small quantity of the ripples means the fluctuations in the output voltage now to make this fluctuation vanish out and to have a clear constant level of the voltage at this output at the desired level of current we go through the voltage regulator circuit which is the last block in this dc power supply this is more generally any ic voltage regulator or even the analog circuit voltage regulator it would be taking the input or as this pulsating dc as the input voltage source and it would be regulating the voltage to be supplied to this load at the constant level at the desired current rate so this is the general block diagram of the dc power supply now you may be asked to draw and explain the dc power supply then you need to draw all these sketches with the essential waveforms not excluding anything here with a brief explanation of each block the first block we call as a transformer block where it would be converting the higher magnitude ac into the required lower level of the ac now after this it is the rectifier block which will be converting this ac quantity into the dc ac into dc but the dc obtained is not the pure one it is having the fluctuations pulsating dc we call as a pulsating dc now this would be subjected to the filter process in the filter block where all the pulsations are reduced to the maximum extent and the ripples are reduced we get the output as the pulsating dc here and this pulsating dc is let on passed through this voltage regulator block where this pulsation in the output of this filter is taken out and the constant level of the voltage at the desired level of the current is obtained and this such a quality of the power is given to the required load so this is how uh, you can explain the working of the dc power supply using a simple block diagram